But six, a store owner in Concord says a family of thieves targeted his toy shop. KPX Science Joe on how the parents are accused of using their kid to commit this crime. Joe? Yeah, the store owner says there are cameras everywhere, so he knew he'd be able to identify whoever stole his $180 Lego set eventually. But when he went back and looked through the video, he says he was shocked. So that's them coming in right now. Tom Fitzsimmons of Pot of Gold Collectibles shows us the surveillance video of what he believes is a family of thieves. There you see two adults, a man and a woman, along with a boy who Fitzsimmons says looked to be about 10 years old. The boy gently pulls an expensive Lego set halfway off the shelf. That's when the adult man walks up to the owner and starts pointing the other direction. My line of sight is I can't see his hands. I can see his head, he distracts me, and then bam. At a given signal, the boy grabs the set and walks right out of the store alongside the adult woman. Lego set in hand. As soon as I turned, that's when the mother or female suspect and the child left with the set. It was a distraction. It was a distraction technique, correct. And when you see that, you realize that, that was that intentional. They came in to steal. Fitzsimmons says he reported the crime to police as soon as he was able to dig out the surveillance video. Then he posted the video on Facebook. He's angry at the adults for appearing to coach the child through the theft. They're showing him that theft is either easy or there's no accountability for it. Do we want to prosecute the child? No. But the parents need to be held accountable for their child's own actions. Mr. Fitzsimmons says he told police that one of the major clues here is that they were speaking a different language and he says he knows it wasn't English or Spanish. We reached out to the Concord Police Department, but we're still waiting for a return call. Reporting live, Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5.